Hey everybody and welcome back. This is going to be part four of a multi-part series that I'm doing on the, uh, the Woodland Workshop. And this one I'm going to be getting all of these, uh, these upright uh, wooden poles ready. And then part five I'll actually be putting all of them up. So I hope you enjoy it. I don't know how many parts I'm going to end up doing on this. Could be a dozen. But uh, if you like this stuff, please drop a comment down below, you know, say something, hit the like button, give me, give me some kind of indication that you guys are out there and enjoying this. Please and thank you. And with that, let's get some work done. A couple of things you're going to notice about these is number one, of course, they're not at all perfectly straight, which is fine. Because I do want them to curve in the final design. The other thing is that right here, we've got all these little bumps. And I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, okay, pardon me while I play cameraman. There we go. If I leave that on there, that's going to end up poking through the tarp that I put over this and make a hole in it. So I need to grind that down and get rid of it. In order to do this, we're going to take this burr disc and this disc grinder and just try and grind it down. I've not tried this before, so it'll be, we'll figure out how this works together, but I think it'll work pretty good. Pardon me while I get my earplugs in. And here we go. I think that works all right. I think it's gonna work real good. The other thing that I've got to deal with is I've got some excess length going on. These, uh, these are way too long. I need about 14 and a half feet. I've got a, a 30 foot long tarp, which means cut that in half, one for each side. I've got 15-ish, call it 14 and a half. You'll need a little bit extra for the bottom feet. And look at that, 14 feet. This platform is just about 14 feet long. We got a lot of stuff sticking out over here. Now, you will notice, however, some of these, this guy right here, this is a little too thin on this side. And if we come over to this side, man, some of these are way too thick on this side. So I'm going to have to go uh, select which end I'm going to trim from, kind of trim these up, get them all uniformed, buzz them down like I just showed you with the... Uh, that bird grinder disc for the uh, for the yeah the grinder up there, and then we'll be able to start on actually erecting a structure here. All right, time to get to it. Here's another thing I'm trying to eliminate. Any of these spots like this, I'm going to cut this right here because not only do we have this knot, but this starts. Uh, let me back up. You can see it just kind of cuts off that way. Now it's not the only spot in this where that happens. There's another one further back right there, but if I can take this here and, and cut this off, it's a pretty good diameter right there, and then measure measure my 14, 14 and a half feet from that, I think we're going to get a pretty good piece, and that's going to give us a decent thickness. We are, we're not going to be so thick that it uh, it's too heavy, and yet we're not going to be so thin like we would be out on the end that's really not going to support that heavy tarp. All right.
Well, y'all, my batteries died, and said, you know what? I got this hatchet out here. Let me see how much I can do with just the hatchet. And this seems to be working pretty well. Might, might even like this hatchet a little bit better than the power tool. I think they both got their advantages and, and disadvantages. Obviously, they both do the good job. Um, both can mess you up pretty bad if you use them wrong. Um, now, obviously, I'm not going to be using this for what I originally got that grinder for was uh, was cutting metal. And that's this hatchet's not going to do that. But for this job right here, I think this hatchet's doing pretty darn good. Even on, uh, let's see, some of these bigger ones. This will take a little bit longer, but it takes a while with the grinder too. So I don't. It takes longer than smaller stuff, but I don't know that it takes any longer with the hatchet than it does with the grinder. So I got this one and I got one more to finish up and I'll be ready to start working on the structure itself. One of the problems I was having as I was looking at how am I going to join uh, the, these uprights to my platform is I've got a round thing in the form of the upright and I've got a flat thing being the side of the platform over here. So what I decided to do to make a cut and just split this piece off right here. Let me get closer. If you look here, cut split that off and now I've got a flat piece so when I come over here to the side of my platform this stays here I've got a little lip that's giving me some support it's it's not that the screws I'm gonna put two screws in here uh, just long decking screws and they're not what's holding this up this lip is right here the screws are just gonna be holding that in in fact 
They're not even going to be doing that much. I'm going to probably get away without the screws uh, because what I've got on the bottom is I've cut a notch here. It's just, just a little notch. Cut that with my hatchet. I've got a rope that's going to go around here underneath to that other side, and that's going to hold this uh, hold this together on the bottom. So when I bring the two sides together on the top, it's not these two screws that are going to be holding anything. The rope on the bottom, the platform, you're going to be holding them apart. The rope's going to be pulling in, and then I'm going to be pulling in up top. So when everything comes together, this should be nice and tight. Shouldn't move, shouldn't go anywhere. Should be pretty structurally sound, too. So in the end, the screws are just going to be kind of a, a thing to hold everything in place until I get the rest of it set up. All right. I'll show you how I'm doing it on uh, the rest of these. In order to get the right side, I'm going to pick this up, kind of roll it around, see where it wants to, to bow. See which side wants to bow. If I set this down, it actually rolls off to a different, well, it rolls off to a little bit different side. I'm going to come in. I'm going nine inches. I measured the platform earlier. About nine inches. So pick it up. Nine inches. Right there. Make a little notch. I could use a sawzall, but I'm really not going that far down, so I'm going to use a handsaw. One thing I don't want to do is go too far down and start compromising the structure here. Now, we'll run this into the dirt. Give me something to push off of. You know what? Um, stay. Get my tools. Try this again. Looks about right. Just gonna whack this thing. Didn't get all the way down there. We got better though. Tell you what, try this. Let me change the camera angle for you. There we go. There we go. That might help. That's 
better. Let's see if I take a few slices off of here. even things out rather nicely. Time for the next one. About this time, I'm thinking, man, this sure would have been, this sure would have been easier with an assistant. Well, it does seem to work, I guess. That's good. Give it a shot. All right, here we are. I've got one, two of my uprights in place, one on either side. Looking good. I got the rope here, the rope that we're going to use to lash them together on the bottom. I've still got to figure out a good way. To get these to pull together. Um, oh, I'm a little annoyed that I haven't been able to get back out here because these have been drying out for a while. It's been a couple of weeks really since I, uh, I wanted to have this done and it just hadn't happened so consequently these have been drying out and I wanted them to dry not only in their upright position but bent. So that's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. We're going to work with it. Speaking of working with it, let's get onto that rope. But first, guys, check this out. You guys know one of the things I talked about quite a bit is how coppicing is going to play a role in how I manage this property. Look at this. All these little shoots coming up out of that stump. I'm starting to think reusing that stump was a mistake, and it, it very well might be. Uh, we'll see how this goes, but I think what's going to happen is going to be a constant battle to, to get that stump to, uh, to die and, uh, and not put shoots up growing into my, 
a workshop there. We shall see. I'm definitely not holding that together just on the power of those screws. That is not enough. Woo! Get my ladder. See if these bend at the top a little better. Man, I don't know. So, I hope you like that. Uh, like I said, I've already got the next part recorded. I'm hoping to have that out, get all the editing done and all that by the weekend. No promises, but I'm going to work really hard at that. I've got probably like five other projects going that I'm also trying to record on. So making stuff happen. I've got to do my least favorite part where I sit down on the computer and actually, you know, like just edit stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, until next time, get out there, do cool stuff, and most importantly, y'all take care of each other. All right?